just a tad bit early here. Today is spring forward. So we get to, um, I don't know how you want to look at it, gain an hour, lose an hour. And um, so, but we do, we are getting more daytimes, so to speak, thanks to um, the system. So good morning and welcome. And uh, thank you for joining me this morning. My name is Rajani Daphne. So today is going to be part two of um, tender awareness and wise being. Last week, we asked you to observe. Observe your attitudes in liking things and not liking them, and then just being neutral. And uh, shared one of my discovery earlier in the week. And uh, so, hi Jennifer. Thanks for being here with me. And uh, so, I'm learning that, um, that, that we all go through every moment of the day and uh, we find something pleasant and then we find something unpleasant or it's kind of in between and we don't really care and we don't want to hang on to. But if we find something pleasant and we, wanna we want more of it and then we have something non-pleasant, then we of course want to push it away. And that, that's just how life is. And the duality of liking and not liking, pleasant, unpleasant, wanting, avoiding, and uh, the in-between is life, is life. And, um, and it's kind of, it can be difficult to be with because we think that it ought not to be. So, <laughs> and um, so I shared a quote with you um, about Rumi, what Rumi says. He says that fortunate is she who does not carry envy as a companion. I'm going to turn that just slightly different and I'm going to say that fortunate is she who carry herself as a companion. So I'm going to say that one of our challenges is to be with ourselves just as we are, with our duality. And holding, holding that, creating a tender space, companionship, being okay with that companionship of like, not like, pleasant, unpleasant, wanting, not wanting, hanging on, wanting more, or pushing it away. And to see it kind of like an ocean, an ocean of space of who we are, and that each wave come and go, because no wave lasts forever. So here's a wave of liking, here's a wave of not liking, here's a wave of something pleasant and I want to hang on to it and then here's another wave of unpleasant or just a wave of neutrality of non-attachment of not wanting and so that's the wise being is being able to be with it all in this tender ocean of everything so it's kind of simple and simplicity can be difficult to practice um, there's another quote I have in my office wall that says that humans like to complicate things. So, um, and simplicity um, doesn't require the ego. Um, it requires the ego to watch and to be okay. And it makes it hard. So, back to tender awareness. I can't repeat that enough. Tender awareness. Being a companion with yourself carrying yourself as your companion and holding it all, holding it all. And we're going to have to do that with tenderness. So one of the ways um, to work with tender awareness and wise being is becoming aware. And that's why we practice meditation. That's why we practice mindfulness. 
So becoming aware that ah, I am, here I am in this ocean of duality. Becoming aware, then we stop. And I like the acronym STOP, S-T-O-P. Stop, we're simply just gonna stop, okay? Stop what we're seeing. T, t is gonna be for taking a breath, so take a breath. Take your backs, stepping back. And then observe, observe your mind, observe your judgment. P is for present, becoming present with you, with your breath, with seeing the ocean. And I'm going to add a why statement. A why statement is something like, I am good enough. I am loved. This too shall pass. I am accepted just as I am. So prepare your own why statement, and maybe we'll do that as part of our meditation this morning. And just keep stopping, just keep stopping. So simple, so simple, so hard to practice, a lifetime of practice to perfect. <laughs> and uh, by the way, I'll give you a little tip, there's no perfection. <laughs> We're human, living this humanistic life and uh, it's all experiences, and it's all good. And perfection is a, is a um, consuming um, slogan. <laughs> okay, so now we're gonna practice. So I'm gonna invite you to close your eyes. Taking a nice deep breath. Exhaling the tension that may be present in your body. Taking another inhalation, nice and slow. And exhale, nice and slow. Letting go of the tension, the judgment the monkey mind. Inhaling nice and long. And exhaling, releasing things and thoughts that are keeping you from being in this moment. what you can, bringing awareness into your heart, feeling or noticing your own heart, placing your hand over your heart if you would like to. Each breath you are continuing your life. Recognizing and appreciating your own heart and your own body for this life experience. So this morning I want to take you on a journey to discover what wise saying or what wise statements would be appropriate for you. For you to remind yourself of your own worth, of your own greatness, of your own goddess within, 
of your own Buddha nature, of your own holistic self. What is that why statement? And to do that, we tune into our heart. Honoring that heart. stairs, has a set of stairs that is maybe straight to the middle of your heart or to the top of your heart. Maybe it's a spiral staircase. Just noticing the stairs that is presenting leading to your heart. to your heart, seeing a door inviting you in. And opening that door and going inside. And in this heart, you find a little girl. If you happen to be a man, maybe you see a little boy. So you see this little child waiting for you. Recognizing one another. You are the adult you and the child is your younger inner child, acknowledging one another with such tenderness. And if it's possible, maybe sitting together, holding hands or embracing each other like long lost loved ones. looking into your inner child's eye. Asking, what is it that you long to hear? What is it that you long to hear from me? safe or I am safe. Maybe it's just as simple as I'm here for you. Whatever that is, taking one or two statements or three or just one. be your wise statement. And as you sit together, embracing one another, or if you're not at the bracing stage, embracing stage, just 
just being there together is enough. Imagine now that you are both held in this tender space of your heart and that you're held in a greater space of an ocean of you. Your energetic you is an ocean. And imagine that waves will come, good waves and bad waves, waves that you like or waves that you don't like, waves that feel good and waves that don't feel so good. Or just waves just come. And that you're going to stop when the waves come. And you're going to observe the waves. What kind of wave is this? And then remember to take a breath after stopping. So S-T-O-P. Take a breath. Observe what kind of wave and then being present with that wave. And then saying the why statement together. your inner child, if it's possible, giving her or he a hug, expressing your love and thanks, knowing that you can come and visit each other at any time. forgiveness and love and acceptance and just being with. So the saying that I'm going to leave you with for today and for the week is, fortunate is she who carry herself as her companion and that herself could be your inner child. And I already feel that next week we're going to be talking a little bit about our inner child and begin that journey of healing. So for today, I hope this was helpful. Being tender, aware, and wise being. Blessings to you all. Have a great week. Check back here for for more fun during the week, more self-awareness. Remember to ground yourself, feeling your feet walking, so you may have gotten off. Um, so just remember to feel your feet, drink some water today. Thank you for all who joined us live or watching later. Love you. Thank you for sharing your energy. Bye-bye.